I'm going to show you how you can insert information from MDI and put it into your NC program. First of all, we need to open up the MDI screen. To do this, we go to Project and MDI, or alternatively, we can use the icon on the screen. As you can see, this brings up the MDI screen. In the MDI screen, you can manually move your machine around by using the axes, or alternatively, you can use NC block. So, this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to enter some information here. To start with, I'm going to put tool 4, which loads up the tool number 4. Now, the next line I'm going to put in G, G1, G90, spindle 10,000, and feed 1,000. Now, as you see, it's got that information there. One thing I have moved, missed off of here is M3. So, if I put M3 in, you can see now the spindle is rotating. So, you can go in the NC block list and you can do any editing you require. So, for instance, I want to get rid of this line here. Right click and delete. So now, I've got tool 4, then the next line G1, G90, S10,000, feed 1000 and M3 which starts to spindle up. Now I want to push this cutter to sit here so I can take the face off the top of this plate. So to do that I'm going to make sure I set to the remove material so when it actually goes across the top it removes the material from the cut stock and then I'm going to go to the tool orientation to make that tangent. I'm going to set the tool axis offset to 5 and the tangent tool tangent offset set to 2 and I'm going to set the model base plane to the top of this machine face. Right, okay. That looks fine. So now what I'm going to do is move to pick a location. So I'm going to pick this corner here. So what I'm going to do is zoom into that now. And as you can see, I told it to be 5mm above that, that face and 2mm away from that wall. That looks just about right. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do make a, a position of this and add that to the list. And as you can see, it's added it to the list there. So if I play selected block and play all blocks, it will move back to that position. So now I want to go down in the Z. So what I need to do in this line, change the Z motion from 10 millimeters to zero, and then return. And as you can see, it's pushed the cutter down five millimeter into the part. So now I'm going to want to make an X move. So in this line, I can add G1. X206 with a feed rate of 150 and play. I go fit, as you can see, it's taken the top of the part off. Now I need to do a, a Y move, so if I go Y30.
as you can see it's moved up 30 mil and now if I go back in the X so it's be X minus 207 and as you see it's machined the face now I can put M5 which will switch the spindle off and then I can make a Z move so I can go G 0 Z 100 and as you can see that pulls it off the job now to finish this off I'm going to type in M 91 X 0 Y 0 Z 0 and as you see that's put the tool back to the home position what we can do now is enter this information into the NC program so under info NC program open up the NC program window go to the position where we want to add the information and then in edit insert MDI you can select lines from the MDI or all lines we're going to put all lines in and as you can see this has added the information from the MDI straight into the NC program now all we need to do is go file save as and save it as a the line new NC program you like save yes yes so now we can run single step as you see it runs it through Over to tool change and carries on machining so as you can see there you can use MDI and enter any information from the MDI straight into the NC program